know, we'll see how that sort of changes as the levels do start to build up. Bottom lane, solo! The pressure pays off, gets the kit. Regen at the moment, so it does have to hold back by the tower. Bottom Ooh, solo. solo. See if Yapso can chase this. He's, He's starting up. He's gonna have one more spell to go. Solo goes straight for the TP on the high ground, but he's not gonna get out. Yapso's in, has the blast just in time. Same time mid. Puppy comes in with the wraparound. He's got the clap slow tornado from mid one. Finishes off no one. A secret quick to make moves back in both lanes. We are just seeing if he can get Yapso. He does get the fire spirit upon him. He's got the tango regen, but he's not going to keep him alive. As Roger will. They did it from the start. They didn't see it coming. The double stout shield quirk. They don't have the best heroes to pull the end. They want to be sure to set up Nisha for success, right? They can't put so many resources into Zai trying to shut down a Pasha axe. They need to make sure that their Terrible is getting good farm. But Puppy is making the rotations. Since they have this Quaswex Invoker, this Brewmaster is actually quite a big, quite a big of a threat whenever he makes the move towards that storm. On top. People will get in, they'll be able to pick up the bounty rune with Ramses and with the two of them, him and Solo, they'll find Yapsor. Lucid Peep gets the job done, Nisha has got the Metamorphosis. He'll turn towards Ramses, Ramses with the stick charge, keeps his distance, but he and Nisha turn back towards Solo. Another Lucid Peep coming out, it's Ramses, he wants to go back in, he sees that Nisha's low, if they can keep the vision for one more Lucid Peep, he can do it and he can! Ramses! Despite how low he is, coming back in, securing the double kill, getting the TP out, back to the shrine. Perfect aggression there for the Luna. Bottom lane, Reaper side. Comes down onto Pasha, but it's not enough to finish him off. And as soon as that plays happen, VP. You know, they find the double kill, they go back to the shrine, and they're now looking for smoke players. At the same time, Roger and Pasha, they're still playing around with Zai down bottom. They know he's not got any side. Again, these fire spirits from Roger bringing Zai incredibly low. It's enough. Roger with the Phoenix play. It's mid one. Does have the tornado. Roger is out of spells, so should drop to this. But he's making mid one work for it. Mid one's had to leave the middle lane for this. And it does get them the kill onto. Now he's just gonna go back to cutting waves. He's going for the rush hood build this time instead of like the Vanguard we've seen since he's versus that overwhelming amount of magic damage as we look at Secret's lineup. They do just have a crazy amount until that Terra Blade starts getting fine. But Terra Blade, Nisha, he's now starting just getting bullied. This constant Lucent Beam Bam is Lucent Beam spam is too much for him. And mid lane Puppy tried to start picking up some levels. Roger and no one go aggressive on him. Midpoint has now returned back to the middle. Tornado set up onto Roger. I mean, they get the kill on the Phoenix. Keep now you look at the CS, he's caught right back up and he's overtaking the Terra Blade now because of what Solo is doing on this chat. And once the levels start building up on Ramses, you're actually not the you're not you don't feel the safest as a Terra Blade. That high magic damage nuke is the bane of Terra Blade's existence early on. And mid one will find another kill onto Roger here. Yeah, that quick sort of boot buyer would probably be the Chen. But besides that, you usually want to have at least one versus these invokers. If you do just get hit by a big uh, EMP in the team fights, it could just completely ensue disaster. Bottom lane. Mid one, again with these movements, hunting persistently for action with Yapso and Zai. They'll get away with it again. To take it off the map. Mid one's just gonna keep looking for the hunt. Just every single time he sees some type of opportunity. Just always walking around and ghost walk that mobility. Solo has been isolated in the jungle here, will be spotted out. Yeah, they'll settle for Solo. He will pop the hand of God. Oh. No way he can escape as they'll take Solo and they'll take his creeps as well. To send no one back to home, he Roger's there, it. but indeed the dispel comes out. So the send home's not going to be there in time. Puppy bringing in the rest of the primal split brulees to surround him. Punch him down with the stun. They're moving in. No one's got a little bit of mana to keep the distance now. Puppy is left back. The collapse open there for the tornado mid one from the low ground. The freezing field as well. Yeah, so one more touch will do it. And they get the kill on the storm. They get the supernova and they'll get Solo two potentially as mid one. Yeah, so chase down. Chen, Cold Snap comes into play, Pasha, he is starting to walk across, Solo's got the stick charges, but the right thing from mid one are too much, they get Solo, Secret finding three. As <laughs> we'll see this again, mid one's Cold Snap from the low ground, so he gets the follow-up disable, no one goes out, but look at this, look at the long range tornado, he just hits the two of them, beautiful. Sets up for the freezing field, and they have three heroes isolating around an egg. And it's just a Chen. Chen can't really help too much there. They needed Pasha a bit sooner, but he just had picked up that Blink Dagger. As in the real game, Zai able to find two kills. He actually finds a huge one onto Ramses. That is such a long time where the Terra Blade's allowed to actually now move his way up that Luna's farm. Because Ramses was about a thousand gold ahead of him before he did die. They really want to try and get Zai. It's such a big kill, it'll be worth a heck of a lot if they can. Supernova's being committed for this one as well, they'll zip it. They'll take Zai, and they'll get Yapsa as well. VP able to strike back against the pressure the Secret have been applying for the most part of this early stage of the game. Getting Zai, it's a big kill to find Zai, as we say. He was in that free game so far.
now Secret. They're ready to continue this fight. Keep it going. The Primal splits out from Puppy. Solo having to back up. A little bit of a heel con through from Roger. But the Bru Bruling's focusing down onto Solo. He escaped Mid another earn heal, keeping Solo alive. Mid one does have to go Swore because no one made the zip straight towards him. Ramsey's there as well. They'll get the cool, the control straight onto Puppy as the Brew, Brew Primal split and that fight going as they get those two extra kills. The top tier one tower does get taken meanwhile by Nisha. Pasha tries to come in to defend, but with the metamorphosis up, it's a little too much for Pasha to deal with. Once. Roger will be left behind. Mid one. He's Bye, looking for it. That point messing around with the fog wicket just for our tornado. Top lane with the freezing field. Not only will they get a tower, they'll get Pasha as well. And Nisha finally is bringing us on the Necrophos. Solo in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, Mid one he just knows, waiting. And he knows he's spooked. He'll wait. Make Solo use the dust. So that's an extra bit of a win. A consumable down and a life as well. Even an ult. As they'll find Solo. And Line straight towards the bottom to push it out. Secret, they're gonna get away with this one absolutely free. VP, the, the, what it tells me is like they use that Chen Hill because they're just like, all right, we're just gonna try to play the farm game. But Puppy, he's invis on top of Ramsey. He's ready to start off a fight. And Deep Ramsey's in trouble. The Spirit Vessel are down onto him. Yapsil's got the disable with the Frostbite, and that should carry gone. So not only is he able to sweep into this jungle, he needs to have a BKB before they can even try to take any type of fight. He's very close. Secret. Yeah. And maybe not close enough. Secret, start to poke at Roger. Reflection as well being used as they'll chase across the tree line again. Cold snaps onto him, Roger. He'll let himself die. Doesn't want to waste the supernova. Knows that he has to keep that for the high ground, but he's out of the game for 40 seconds. Straight away. Better. They're going up on high ground. Puppy's not there though. Puppy's decided to TP top to, to hold off the defense, make sure they don't lose a tier one. A quick call from Passion trying to pull Nisha's attention away from these mid lane racks and tier threes. 25 seconds, no Phoenix. They, they have a ward on top of Ramsey. They actually do see him farming as. No one's going to go. Over the big zip in, but still at this point not really much of a threat. Nisha's got the alacrity from mid one. The tier three is going to be taken. They're not backing off yet. Secret still having the ages for two minutes on Nisha. They're feeling incredibly confident. Ramsey's has the BKB now. He TP's back. He's going to pick it up. This is where VP's going to try to take a fight. As soon as their Phoenix is up, they have to try to commit forward before they lose this Rax. Here we go. This is the timing. The BP needs to do something. The melee Rax falling low. Yeah, he's going to be laid down. No one goes to the back of it all. Ramsey's moves it with the BKB and the Eclipse. They look towards Nisha, trying to get themselves on top. He's going to have the edge. Just to be able to bring that one, they can. The they take him down once. He's going to be up again. The end comes through. Zyde does fall. Can they kill that terrible a second time? Nisha starts to walk off. A quick prop here from the storm. Spread the jump from Pasha. They've got the further disable. Lose the beam down onto Nisha's hip. Puppy gets the Sunder off onto Solo. He's back up to fall with a heavy damage from Vivi. The Nosa. Yeah, With the freezing field. Keeps him away from Nisha. Nisha survives. And Secret. Can they actually finish off the racks? Oh, no one gets Nisha. In. No one does him straight back into the fray. Don't we just eat Nisha? He gets Shaptor as well. The racks have survived. Both they of kept them. the racks alive. Even though Secret was somehow able to take that, that initial fight before some of the buybacks come in from Pasha, no one's able to perfectly time the call through the immunity whilst he's low. Try and outplay him. Make sure that he doesn't find the opportunity to cast asunder. He gets solo outside of the base. No one. He's straight out of there. He nopes right back secret. Got the creep wave down bottom in a good position. They'll head to the tier two tower. They're gonna have their agonims finished after this tower dies too. It has to get delivered on the courier though for mid one. The PP. They look like they're going for a jump. Here. He does. He starts the fight off. Gets straight up to the top of the tower. Lady Tornado comes back and responds. The reason sides down. No, he has the BKP out. Zips away, but Pasha getting pummeled by Nisha with the metamorphosis. They yeah. push him back. The egg is successful though. Nisha is stunned up. He'll die. He can't get it. himself out. He's trying to head back in a little bit with the Ghost Shroud. He knows that some of you here really but Pasha comes back in oh with the call. Mip on, he's hit. still trying to fight this. He'll get Ramses. He's looking towards Pasha. Maybe he can get a few of these kills. Pasha hiding in the trees. Mip on, Alacrity up. He'll go for a TP away. He's Get's not going to make it out, though. Pasha comes back in. It's 2,500 HP with 10 armor. Yeah, pretty hard to actually shred through. It's Poppy. It's fine solo. I think Zelda's getting out of this one. Secret. Commit the Reaper. He's down for a very long time on hey. that chance. It takes away something that Secret would have for the push. But Secret, of course, they keep their cool. They know that they don't need to be worried about that sort of quick zip. And they're ready to push. Metamorphosis is up on Nisha. Got Glyph this time. 
Okay, well that was Charlotte for 45. The Bruce split immediately by Puppy. He's not trying to mess around. He doesn't want to get caught out. But he has to watch out. His Bruins can die to the Luna Glaze. Pasha has got the cool to control the two of them. Frostbite's down onto Pasha. Nisha focusing the barracks. They'll jump in with the Vortex. Glimmer K keeps Nisha safe. He's still got half of his health full available, and they will get away with the mid-rack this time. They take the melee Ooh. and the raid. Nisha actually... Oh, Sundered his own illusion and when not he was the, Not the ideal Sunder. Doesn't really change his HP at all. He's still fine. I still have the components of Rose. I still... Just all that magic resistance he's trying to buff up for his team right. versus this Necropost and all the magic damage that comes out from Secret. Different approach. Down the mid lane they go. Secret. They start to play around with Pasha. Tornado does hold back the axe. The illusions from Ramsey's beating down on the tier one tab. He's he out of mana. We're top at the top. Yeah, no one. Uh, Pasha's not going to be able to jump in without that mana. As now BP starts to back away. They may have to leave Pasha for this one. He's popping the BKB. They're still trying to poker this. No one zips in, zips out. BP still very much wanting to get themselves out of this again. So they'll be the one left behind. BP managed to get everyone else. I still see him change it up, but this could actually be a good way to control versus that side of Secret. Just that follow up that they seem to need, and also very good follow up for the Supernova to help him. Already, Roger's been caught on the front. He gets the Supernova from Pasha. He has the call to save with the Invoker Pump. He's trying to take down the Supernova. Can he do it in time? They will. They'll get rid of the Supernova. BKB and Mad Mobs in pop by Nisha, and they'll turn towards no one. No one's able to BKB and zip away, but Ramsey's caught in the middle of it. They've lost the Luna. They're going to lose Pasha as well as he's trapped in the trees. BP trying and almost a show of desperation to come out with an aggressive play and they just can't. The bring down there from pretty much their, their biggest form of initiation and way of starting the fights and there's no supernova either. And there's no supernova, exactly. It just seems so difficult for BP to actually take the control in the fights and not allow them to kill the egg. Oh, Only one target he fight ball, but he fights him. Okay. Well that's He's that's Russia is. Bosch is also at 7, so still relatively high, but smoke on smoke battle. For the third time, VP will contest Roche. They're heading over, jump in from Pasha, they're looking towards Zai. Zai never yields up, Ramsey it's, it's going to be successful. Ramsey's coming in with a BKB and the Eclipse for Supernova's down, but Nietzsche with a BKB focuses the egg. The egg's going to be taken out, and with a metamorphosis, he turns towards Ramsey's. Yapsor's still kept alive, but the Reaper side's down, bringing Ramsey's low, Ramsey's oh will fall. They'll look to Pasha, Pasha actually able to blink out. Somehow being able to blink away, but Puppy is on top of him with the remaining time of the primal split. They get Pasha as well. I mean, Zai and Puppy leading the job. Yeah, GG's gone. Wow. GG's. There's no Luna. There's no buyback. Nope. No buyback on the Luna. No buyback on the Axe. No buyback on the Phoenix. They cannot deal with this game. VP is secret. Take game one. I mean, Zai and Puppy, they just walk in. And